Michael's the Comfort Doll was created to help people with their problems. Now he's the problem. Buttons the Bear lost a lucrative corporate sponsorship for reasons of moral turpitude. Bill the Ventriloquist Dummy has had 58 partners die in unlikely accidents. Rocco the Dog was a sidekick in a children's TV show until one day he snapped. Prison didn't help, and now in one last desperate stab at rehabilitation, they've been placed in a halfway house. A home for puppets who kill. And the kitten was found safe and sound in his yeah. owner's bed. In other news, super billionaire Jeff Casper is in Toronto for the launch of his newest line of software. They say he earns over a million dollars a day. Man, if I were him, I'd work until Wednesday and then tell the company to blow me and retire. Maybe he's not doing it for the money. Maybe it's job satisfaction. Job satisfaction? He's making software that'll be obsolete within the month. For that bastard, money is the only job satisfaction. He seems like a nice man. Yeah, right. Who left this half-eaten pizza out? Well, don't be negative, Dan. It's not half-eaten, it's half-uneaten. Now wing me a slice, will you? Forget it, I'm not your servant. And whose candy wrappers are these? Those are mine. Don't worry, Dan, I brushed my teeth. This place is a pigsty. What's next, you're gonna shit in the chair and just leave it there? <laughs> That's not what's next, Dan. That was about half an hour ago. <laughs> <laughs> and whose condom wrappers oh. are these? Hmm, there's a riddle, Sherlock. Could it be the only person around here who actually gets laid? I want you to clean this mess up. Oh, love to, Dan, but I'm off on a date. Is that why you're dressed like a Nimrod? I happen to be dressed like a millionaire. Muffy only goes out with silver spoon trust fund types, don't you? Now, how long do you expect to keep up this lame charade? Oh, not for long, just until I get laid. Sounds like you're not being honest with your girlfriend. You better be careful. <laughs> Come on, what's the worst that can happen? <laughs> you want me to fly you down to Rio? Yeah. Kevin, Emily, Biff, the whole gang are going down for the weekend. And Daddy has this absolutely spiffing pierre de terre that he positively never uses. Or, I got a better idea. Why don't we go back to your place and get it on in the pool house? Uh, honestly, Button, sometimes you can be so desperately boring. It's difficult to believe you're one of the DuPonts. Of course I'm at DuPont, uh, uh, skeet shooting the servants, uh, playing polo in my Bugatti. My bath has an extra fast for champagne, do you do? Then why did you bring me to this awful diner? Well, because, uh, because uh, I wanted to see how the other half lives. Well, I know how the other half lives. I just don't want to be anywhere near them while they do it. Oh, come on, Muffy. Don't you want to go someplace and make ourselves come? Would you kindly stop being so terribly boring? Now, our next date will be in Rio, or there's just no point in bothering, hmm? Rio, it is, sweetie. <sighs> I can't believe I agreed to fly her down to Rio. I can't afford that. Look, if she really likes you, she'll accept you as you are. Of course she doesn't like me. She hates everything I stand for. The only reason she goes out with me is because I'm pretending I'm someone I'm not. Then why do you want to go out with her? Because she's so hot. Oh, you can't really be so shallow. If I'm not, I don't know who is. Now, uh, I've got to think. There's got to be some way for me to get that you know, I do my best thinking when I'm doing the dishes. Oh, good. Get back to me when you're done. Let me know your ideas. No, 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 I, I, I meant that you, I meant that, that you, God damn it, this is bullshit. I did not sign up for this. Swearing to yourself? Careful, Dan. You of all people should know how quickly eccentricities turn into pathologies. I'm just so sick of cleaning up after everyone in this house. Do they really think I'm their maid? Of course not. I made it have a much nicer ass. You need the sort of therapy that you give us. Um, if this was my problem, what would you say to me? Oh, here we go. Uh, I don't know, oh great one. What would I say? Well, you'd say, you're not being paid to be a maid. Call Corrections Canada and tell them you're not gonna be a maid anymore. Hey, so you think this is a work issue? Of course, they should provide a maid. It's 
It's only reasonable. Yeah. Well, that, that, that's good reasoning. How'd you come up with that? Well, the fact that my room's a mess has nothing to do with it. <laughs> yeah. Well, nowhere in the job description does it say that I have to be a maid. So I was thinking... You want a what? Oh, no, 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 that won't be necessary. No, did you just forget I ever called you? Fine, I'll see you Tuesday. Damn it, I am so screwed. <sighs> Corrections Canada's coming over Tuesday for a job review. <sighs> well, that's very really nice, Dan. Um, say, can you help me with this? I'm off to Rio for the weekend. I thought you didn't have enough money to go to Rio. I don't, but I went online and found something even better than money. Credit. You didn't. Yep, I got a credit card. No questions asked, no credit check. What kind of company doesn't give a credit check? A friendly company, one that I'm more than happy to deal with. Their interest rates must be through the roof. I wouldn't know. You didn't ask. That would fall under the category of looking a gift horse in the mouth. Well, so long, Dan. I'm off for a hot weekend with Muffy. Oh, mark my words, you are going to regret this. <laughs> What's the worst that can happen? I'll go to Rio and have a shitty time. I went to Rio and had a shitty time. So the worst happened. And I broke out in a cold sore and her period started. Oh, so it was a bit worse, you had a bad trip. And she's frigid and she need me in the balls by reflex. Sounds like you really hit rock bottom. And her father showed up and sicked his Rottweilers on me. Well, well at least in a nice plane trip. Not quite. On the flight home, the chicken was undercooked and I got food poisoning. So the worst happened. Yeah, the worst happened. Not by a long shot. Your credit card bill came in while you were gone. What? But I only have that card a week. Look at these interest rates. Oh, and you uh, owe the money immediately. You are financially screwed. <laughs> <laughs> so I hear you're financially screwed. It's nice to know that good news travels fast. Not half as fast as catastrophic news. Mm. You are done for this time. Yeah, right. And in town last night, billionaire software king Jeff Casper was seen squiring the very eligible bachelorette, Muffy Laurier. Oh, man! That guy's got the buck so he gets my girl. Oh, life is so unfair. Well, I thought she was a disappointment. Yeah, but she was my disappointment. Ooh, that bastard pisses me off. May the better man win. He's not better, he's just richer. Well, if you had some of his money, you'd never have to worry again. Oh, well, yeah, but how am I going to get... <gasps> hmm. What the Christ? Huh? Hey, Rocco, guess what I did? You kidnapped Jeff Casper to get his millions and pay off your debts? Yeah. Wow, you're good. You must be psychic. What else do you see in my future? Hmm, a SWAT team a brain mm -hmm. stem shot, and a body bag with you in it. <laughs> Cute, huh? So, Mr. Barlow, you made a request for maid service from Corrections Canada? I was kidding, it was a joke. A joke? Oh! <laughs> I get it. Ha ha ha, very good. Very good, maid service. Sadly, Corrections Canada lacks my sense of humor. I was afraid of that. However, I believe we can meet your request. Look, I'm sorry. What? It seems the budget has money for this house to hire a maid. That's wonderful. <laughs> Turns out we've so grossly underpaid you, there's quite a bit left over. Un underpaid me? Oh, yes. You make a fraction of what people with your experience and qualifications normally receive. In fact, this housekeeping job will pay more than what you get now. <laughs> Couldn't we just give me the money and, and skip the maid? Mmm, not the best idea. Your record is so spotty, the only thing keeping you from being fired is the fact that you work for peanuts. Oh. So, enjoy your housekeeper. She'll be starting at the end of the week. That's just peachy. Hmm. So, what exactly is your plan? Ransom. Hmm? He's a millionaire. Hmm? I threatened to kill him unless his family gives me money. <laughs> and who is his family exactly? Uh, I'm not sure. Maybe they'll mention it in the papers. Speaking of which, there hasn't been a single word in the news about him being kidnapped yet. 
Stop being so negative. We wait a day till his loved ones panic, and then I send a ransom demand. What's the worst that can happen? Sports scores, comics, nothing. Not a word about his disappearance in over a day. Nobody gives a shit about this guy. I have got to stop asking what's the worst that can happen. It's time you made a ransom call. Right. Ah! I can't get through. His machine's always on. Okay, a ransom note. Right. Return to sender. Damn him. Okay, maybe we're being too low tech for this guy. Uh, let's try uh, email. Right. Hi, this is Jeff. I'm out of the office right now, but I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Bye. A form letter? You bastard. No one is even able to get a hold of him. No one knows him. No one cares about him. No one loves him. Wait a minute. I think I know someone who loves him. Yeah, who? who? <laughs> Don't say a word and no one gets hurt. Understand? Look, you better answer me or... Y yeah, uh, you told me not to say a word. Oh, uh, Well, you can say I understand, but nothing else. I understand. Wait a minute. You remind me of someone. I told you you could only say I understand. Who is it you remind me of? Somebody I dated. Never heard of him. Now, the reason I'm here. Buttons! What? No, I don't look anything like Buttons. He never wears a big hat or a coat. Right. Now listen, Cruz. We have someone you love, and we demand ten million dollars. Daddy, you have Daddy? No, we have your boyfriend. Hector? Who's Hector? Is it Armand? Uh-uh. Lance? Uh-uh. Federico? Oh, man, you get around. It's Jeff. Who? Jeff Caspar, the billionaire. They showed you dating him on TV. You mean that dreadful computer bar? Oh, God, no, I never dated him. No, he showed up with a photographer at some function thing that I was at, and, and thankfully I haven't seen him in the last little while. That's because we have him. And if you ever want to see him alive... Mm, I don't. What? I don't care to see him alive. You can kill him if you want to. I'm sure no one will even notice. I'm not bluffing. Okay, good. Well, ta-ta, Buttons. Ta-ta. I'm not Buttons. So that's it. Nobody cares whether he lives or dies. Man, you got to get rid of him. You mean let him go? <laughs> no, he knows too much. You, know, you should kill him. I should kill him? I hate killing people. Will you kill him for me? Why should I kill him? You do it. I don't want to kill him. Why can't we just uh, uh, release him somewhere far away from here? You mean like blindfold him and take him out to a field and drop him off somewhere? Yeah, yeah that might work. You'll help me do that? Sure, I guess so. Ah, <laughs> oh, thanks, Rocco. You're a pal. You just used my name. Now you have to kill him. <laughs> Oh, come on. Rocco's a very common name. We don't have to kill him. <laughs> no, we don't. You do, Buttons. <gasps> you bastard! You used my name! Oh, all right. I'll kill him in the morning. Ah, oh, I tell you, I slept like a baby. Me too. Best sleep in months. Yeah. Say, I wonder how our hostage is doing. Oh, look at him. Yeah. Well, like an angel. Ah, <sighs> not a worry in his head. Almost seems like a shame to wake him. Yeah, let alone to slit his throat, dismember him, and bury him in a shallow grave. <coughs> Ooh. <gasps> Ooh, he's up again. I may as well kill him right now. <laughs> yeah, but first, breakfast. <laughs> Good idea. Let's go. <laughs> hey, Dan, what's for breakfast? Yeah, I hope it's substantial. I got a big job ahead of me. Get your own breakfast. I gotta go use the washroom. Uh, what? what? Uh, no, uh, you can't. I can't? Well, it's, uh, it's, uh, really, uh, stinky. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, how bad could it be? Oh, bad, Dan, real bad. I passed out. Yeah, uh, really noxious. I just dragged him out of there in time. Tell you what, uh, we'll go upstairs and we'll open a window for you. Yeah, and then once it's dismembered and disposed of, then you can use the room. Right. What's dismembered and disposed of? The poo. It's a really big poo. You didn't flush? I couldn't. It's a real log. Okay, go ahead, but be quick about it. The maid's gonna be here any second. The what? 
Didn't I tell you? The corrections can just sending over a maid. She starts today. That must be Rosalie now. Fuck! Uh, Rocco, Rocco, what am I gonna do? Well, we have to hide him until she's gone. Yeah, 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 but where? Hmm. Uh, uh. Man, I had a really good bath. I cleaned everywhere, even the tough to get at places. Thank God for the man who invented the loofah. You, you found him? Um, who? Uh. <laughs> okay, what did you do with him? What did I do with who? You didn't see a person tied up in the bathtub here? Let me think. I'm pretty sure I would have noticed while I was bathing. Though I did find a tugboat I thought I'd lost. Oh, he's escaped. Oh, we gotta find him before he gets to the police. Huh? What was that? It sounds like it's coming from Bill's room. I want you to let me know if this hurts. Because if it doesn't, I get a full refund from the medical supply company. Hey, what do you do with my hostage? Is he yours? Whatever happened to Finders Keepers? Ah, you can't kill him. I was gonna, uh, going to... Uh, kill him? Uh, yeah, as it turns out. Uh, please, proceed. Yeah, but can you make it snappy? We're in a bit of a schedule here. Make it snappy. Would you tell Da Vinci to make it snappy? Would you tell Mozart to make it snappy? Hmm? I would if there was a cleaning lady coming any second. Ooh. Guys, there's someone I want you to meet. <laughs> Just you and me. Oh. Fellas, this is Rosalie. She's going to be cleaning the house today, starting with the upstairs. Look at you cute little fluffy children. <laughs> Adorable. Hey, that's fast. I only just met her and already her shtick is getting old. <laughs> you babies, as good, as good, as good. Rosalie cleans bedrooms first. You hear that? Rosalie cleans bedrooms first. Now, step aside so Rosalie can do the job that Corrections Canada is paying her more than they pay me for. No, 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 no. Uh, uh, no, she can't clean this room. Uh, uh, I mean, uh, she shouldn't clean this room. I mean, uh, uh, no. What's the matter? You got a dead body in there? <laughs> no, he's alive for now. Oh, cut it out and step aside. Come on. This one seems to be stuck. It's all yours. Clean away. <laughs> so dirty. So, is he under the bed? Did you kill him already? Um, sadly, there was no time. I tossed him out the window. Oh, well, we can't have him lying out there in the yard. We have to find a place to hide him. Hmm, that's right. Oh, and I know just the place. Ah, ah. this is the life. Relaxing while someone else does the work. I don't know what the big deal is. I do this every day of my life. The big deal is it's somebody else doing the work this time. I thought you said working builds character. Yeah, I already have enough for character. Let somebody else build character for a change. Upstairs all finished. Rosalie, make a dirty boy's room a sparkle. Oh, I can hardly wait to see that. Uh, Rosalie need a window cleaner. You have window cleaner, see? She cleans windows. Thank you, God. Yes, I window cleaner. I'll be right back. Hmm? Window cleaner. No. Uh, excuse me? Rocco, why is there a man under the kitchen counter? Because there was no room in the freezer. Look, Dan, don't ask me. He's Buttons. Oh, he's yours, Buttons? Uh, not for long, Dan. I'm gonna get rid of him. Oh, no, I, uh... no, 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 no. I, I don't want to hear this. You're talking about something legal? Uh, well, uh, in Middle Europe in the 15th century, it was. Just deal with this. I want this man out of here. Oh, shut up. done and she hasn't found your guy and she's not going to he's gone out with the trash what you put him out in the lawn where anyone can see him ah don't worry i put him in a green garbage bag you you killed the poor man that that's terrible no it was a kindness you saw how scared he was before uh -huh. well now he's no longer scared he's uh lying very still oh that makes sense yeah <laughs> Uh, hey, uh, excuse me, what? Hello, citizen. What are you doing with this here? This garbage yeah. is unacceptable for three reasons. One, 
It's overweight, yeah. too heavy to carry. Yeah, but why are you bringing Two. it? Two. Hmm? Keeps wiggling. Oh. There's something alive in here. Well, just hit it with a shovel. That should take care of it. And three, oh. it's recycle day. Recycle only. Right. Unacceptable. Right. Uh, no. Uh, excuse me. Sir! No, no, no! Take it away! Ah. All done! Rosalia scrub away little children's messes. Ah, this is incredible. The house is sparkling. Rosalie, we'll see you tomorrow, eh? Tomorrow? You mean you're coming every day? I don't believe this. I take garbage out now. Oh, no, 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 no. That uh, isn't necessary. What is that noise? Oh, uh, I'm uh, uh, throwing out some old squeaky toys. Yeah. Oh, my God! There is a human person in here. Oh, don't tell me. This is how you got rid of him? <laughs> you poor sweetie! You poor ah. sweetie man! Oh. You are all monsters! All of you! Monsters! Oh. <laughs> Billionaire Jeff Casper today tied the knot with cleaning lady Rosalie D'Amano. The world is wondering where this unlikely pair could have met. But so far, both have been silent. Well, it was certainly nice of the man not to tell the police about us. Sure <laughs> was. We would have all been in deep shit if he informed the authorities. Yeah, he was sick of all the publicity, I guess. Plus, he was grateful for finding true love. It just goes to show you, humans can surprise you. Especially if you tell them you know where they live. And if they say anything, <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> uh, who wants cocoa? Oh, I do. I'd love to. Are we rolling? If you can do that with a condom wrapper. Spaghetti and meatballs, eighty-five dollars. Nice. Oh, come, come. There's nothing I like more than a stubborn nipple. Great. This guy thinks he's acting. <laughs> hey, Dan. What's for breakfast? Hey. Okay. <laughs> okay. 